Good day, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good night around the world. I am Chief Engineer Joe Abugan. My video today is about how to adjust the tappet clearance of a four-stroke cycle diesel engine. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on my next videos. What is the purpose of checking the tappet clearance of a rocker arm of a four-stroke diesel generator engine? The purpose is due to wear and tear of the valve stem and rocker arms. The clearance should be checked every 500 running hours or as per maker's recommendation. Number two, you must have to check if there is an abnormal sound at the cylinder head. Now, before we continue, we must have to check the parts of the rocker arm. We have here the uh, bulb retainer T. We have here adjusting screw A and adjusting screw B. We have here the uh, intake and exhaust bulb rocker arm. We have here the post rod. We have also here the uh, bulb stem A and bulb stem B. We have also the bulb rotator. And we have also the clearance C, just above the bulb retainer T. Diesel engine tappet clearance adjustment procedures. First is to position the cylinder head, the cylinder at the top dead center, TDC of the compression stroke. The post rods should be loose. Diesel engine tappet clearance adjusting procedure. Now loosen the lock nuts of the adjusting screw A and V and turn back the adjusting screw A. This is the adjusting screw A and this is the adjusting screw B. Bring the bulb stem end A here, this is A, into close contact with the bulb retainer T. This is the bulb retainer T. Fit a dial gauge to the bulb retainer T and tighten the adjusting screw A. This is the adjusting screw A until the pointer swings. Make sure that the bulb stem A and B simultaneously get into contact with the bulb. Engage a spanner around the hexagonal head of the adjusting screw A, this is the adjusting screw A, and tighten the lock nut. 
while paying attention so that we screw and not do not sleep and turn. Insert a thickness gauge or filler gauge of the specified thickness 0.3 millimeter into the clearance C. This is a clearance C on top of the bulb holder T. This is the bulb holder T and adjust the clearance using the adjusting screw B. This is the adjusting screw B. This is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. You must have to watch my previous videos to complete your knowledge. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.